Thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos. Today, I'll be in the dark room coding a few screens. Before I get started with the tutorial, I'm going to offer a few tips. The first tip is to make sure that the emulsion is poured evenly into the scoop coder. This helps to lay the emulsion down smooth and without streaks. Tip number two is to scrub evenly and consistently once you start um, coding the screen. And by this, I mean once you start, you don't stop in between. You just uh, coat the screen all the way through until you get to the end of the screen. Tip number three is to be sure to tilt the screen so that you can evenly coat the screen without having to stop while you're in the middle of the process. You see as I'm going right here, I'm tilting the screen and I'm kind of leaning the screen into the scoop coder as I get up to the top. This allows me to catch the emulsion and keep the excess emulsion from running down the screen. And tip number four is make sure that the emulsion is laid smoothly onto the screen because you don't want uneven lines or drip marks to be in the center of where your design is going to be. We begin by grabbing a screen and placing it into the correct position. I allow the emulsion to bead and then I scrape up with the scoop coder and I like to do two coats so as you see I scrape up evenly and you don't have to do this real fast don't try to do it quickly just make sure that you're going at an even pace and once you coat the first side you flip your screen over when you put the screen into the drying rack you always make sure that the ink side is facing up. And once again, you grab the screen, place it into the correct position, allow the emulsion to bead and scrape up. And as you scrape up, be sure to scrape up evenly. Now flip the screen and do the inside. Allow the emulsion to bead, tilt the screen and scrape up evenly. Scrape up evenly once again. And when you're placing the screen in the rack, always be sure to place it with the shirt side down. And that's about it. Okay, and as you see, I have all of my screens lined up and ready for the next step. I know some people be asking about the different products I use and right here I use that Ulano QX1 Emulsion. Okay, so I'm going to turn my fan on and it's going to get a little loud once I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this fan on. Actually, before I do that, I got to pour the emulsion back in the container. I forgot about that. I just removed one of the ends off of the scoop coder and you can use an ink card but here I'm just using like a piece of cardboard to scrape all of the emulsion that I can off of the scoop coder and just put it back into the container. And when you seal up your emulsion always make sure that you close it up good because you don't want it drying out on you. But I got everything set up in here. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and turn the fan on. And I'm gonna turn the fan on high. And I'm also gonna turn the heater on. I'm gonna move it to right here and turn it on. And gather up all of this emulsion mess right here and get ready to go in here and clean everything up
that's cleaned up pretty good. So now I wait. I have to wait a couple of hours for the screens to dry. Um, may, maybe not as long since I got the heater going in there, but I have to wait until the screens dry so that I can do the next step because um, the thing that I have going on right now is not having a good enough screen to print the shirts. So I'm going to have to get that right. And hopefully this will work and everything will be fine and I can start on this printing these shirts and show you guys that video. So I will check back in once I have a chance to dry the screens and burn a new screen. My screens dried. I put them inside my cabinet right here. You may not be able to see them. So I got it kind of cramped in here. I put them inside my cabinet right here. And now I'm about to burn this screen right here and hopefully it comes out correctly this time. I'll come back and let you guys know if it comes out right or not. 